All right, all you next-gen tactics fans, I'm making a Nazi zombie video. It's a Nocter Undertoten, Undertoten, Untoten map. Now I'm fast-forwarding it a lot, and probably leading up to maybe just a couple of key points in the last couple rounds, just because it's probably about 26 minutes if I don't do it. So I want to keep it under 10. So the first three rounds, I'm going to stay in the main room. And I'm going to knife as many zombies as I can because you can get the most points for that. And I'm going to try and get uh, as many points as you can for rebuilding the barriers. And I bought the car 98. Uh, you don't really have to do that, but it's kind of nice to have it as a backup. Um, but as you'll see, you don't really need it. <coughs> Excuse me, as we're going to be going through the, uh, the one door on the bottom uh, right near the end of this level. And we probably didn't use our Colt even that much until this round, so... Could have probably gotten away with not uh, not buying the car, because we can go through that door right now if we want to, and we could uh, purchase at least two weapons. And now we can purchase up to uh, three weapons. Uh, one thing with your grenades, your grenades uh, do replenish. You get two, two grenades at the end of every round, so... And you can carry a maximum of four. So you can use your grenades. And uh, you'll be fine to get some more the next round. So you got a double barrel shotgun that beats the Colt. So we're going to grab that. And we'll hit it again. There's one zombie left crawling around. So we got the uh, browning, which is pretty decent. And let's see what else we can get. And we can get the MG42. Okay, the MG42 is, um, I think, I, in my opinion, aside from the ray gun, the second best, um, or the best weapon. The MG42 is better than the Browning because the reload time is a lot quicker. The MG42 is better than the FG because it has 500 rounds compared to the FG has not 500, less than 100. Um, so you want the MG42, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna stay in these two rooms, and we'll always try and keep a guy alive at the end of the round so we can get uh, we can rebuild the windows or put the boards back in the windows, and um, we can uh, spend all our money on the guns. So we grab the uh, fl the flamethrower. Uh, the flamethrower is nice because you don't have to purchase ammo for it. And you won't. You'll never run out of ammo. But ideally, obviously, we want the uh, ray gun. So the best gun combination in our class, or in our case, or in our opinion, I guess, is the uh, MG42 and the ray gun. I mean, I could almost say the. Uh, the trench uh, the shot, the trench shotgun is uh, pretty decent as a second uh, weapon if you have a ray gun and a trench gun. But uh, I still like the uh, the MG, and we kill them all. That's kind of a nice uh, bonus to get to destroy the remaining enemies or zombies in our case. So like I said, hopefully this isn't too hard to to follow. Now I will show you the strategy that I think is probably the best single player uh, as well as two player and possibly even three player and that's defense in this room. You want to stay in this room, you've got only two points of entry into the room. Most of them will come from the door while the rest of them will come from a window. And again, we're going to show it a little bit slower once we get to uh, the later rounds. Um, so, so we got the ray gun, so that's great. We go up. We're going to rebuild some of the uh, put the boards back in the windows up here. This buys buys us a little bit of time. Um, we can come down here and sort of wait for them because they'll, hopefully they'll come down quick or come in quicker at the bottom. And then we're going to move back to our room. So in these uh, early rounds, 
you can get them through the coming through the door, and we get a nice uh, bonus there. You want to get them as they're coming through the door, and then just keep an eye on the window. And as they come through the window, just repair it. Now, one of the things that you guys should try and, and get comfortable with is actually rebuilding, uh, rebuilding the window while you're. Uh, while well, you have your back to it, so you can be rebuilding it and aiming and firing all at the same time when you're rebuilding a window. So nice. One of the nice things about this room, or another nice thing, um, aside from only having two points of entry, like we haven't cleared the, st the stairs that are beside us. You don't want to do that because then you're going to have them come up the stairs, and that's a third point of entry. So you don't want that. But you got a grenade ref refill right there. Um, right at the back of this room, and grenades are an important, uh, I guess you can call it a third weapon. Um, one of the other nice things with the MG is that when you do get an insta-kill, all it takes is one bullet to kill them, so you can get a lot of kills. Um, just uh, tap in the MG, the trigger on the MG. So we're going to use our grenades a lot more here, just because there are a hell of a lot more zombies coming at us. Uh, the window's completely gone, unfortunately. But to just keep re rebuying your grenades. <laughs> so here's where we're going to slow it down. We're on level 12. We're going to try and throw a couple grenades to see if we can get some, uh, some lucky kills at the beginning. Kill this guy, and then we're going to go and uh, buy some more grenades. You probably never have a problem with uh, with money. Staying up here, you'll, you'll always have enough to buy uh, your grenades, so you don't have to worry about it. So you guys go through the window. Get some more grenades, toss them, get the hand. Now the thing that's really going to kill you is your reload. So you got to reload every chance you get where you have some time. Get pretty lucky here with the bonus, so we're going to our last level. But yeah, you got you have to reload whenever you can. So we still have a ray gun, we still have our MG42, and uh, we've got our four grenades, so we're in decent shape here. Let's see if we can get some a uh, couple of kills out here out that window. They tend to come out through that window pretty quick. So we're going to start off with our MG. Um, always try and hit him in the head if you can. It obviously takes a lot less ammo to get the headshots. So we're getting low. We don't have time to reload there. And we're going to fire our ray gun. Now we're getting we're gonna, we're gonna get toast here because they're all they're coming at us. We don't have time to reload, and I don't know how I didn't hit that guy. I probably could have made it to 14. You probably make it to 14, 15 using the strategy, but but you got to be pretty damn lucky to make it much past that um, in single player. So hope you liked it, and we'll uh, try and make some more zombie videos for you um, upcoming. Visit our website at www.nextgentactics.com to find all of our video playlists, written game guides, gaming news, trailers, and more, all for free.